my grandfather gave me this. It's my great grandfather's old circular saw from like the 1950s or the 1960s. It's pretty cool. Now, I'm not too much a fan of power tools, but even a power tool like this I can appreciate. It's actually been kept in pretty good condition. Still has some of the old sawdust on it. Man, my great grandfather died like at least a decade ago, so this sawdust is pretty old. I'm not interested in keeping the sawdust though. <laughs> The design is very beautiful. Oops. I'm happy that that comes off so I can focus on cleaning that. Looks like there might be a little bit of mold or deterioration on that, but nothing too bad. And here we have the label. Craftsman 6.5 inch electric hand saw, 115 volts AC or DC, 8 amps, 0 to 60 cycle, Date code 161, so this is made January 1961, if I understand that correctly. Keep blade clean and sharp, replace brushes in, par in pairs when worn to one quarter inch. When using excision cord, use 10 gauge up to 150 feet, 12 gauge up to 100 feet, model number 3362963, sold and serviced by Sears Roebuck & Co. and Simpson Sears Limited. That's pretty cool. That's a bit stiff, unfortunately. Might need some, or actually, I, I guess there'll be, ah, uh, there's probably a gear on there. It goes smoothly, it's just not too easy. It's probably okay though. Yep, it's geared up, so that makes sense. So it might actually be okay like this. It's a very nice switch on there. I like how that feels. I guess, yeah, that feels okay. It, it, it definitely feels like it's lubricated and whatnot. Well, that sounds great, actually. Sounds perfectly fine. It's a lot better than my other saw. Okay, so it doesn't seem to shock you at all, which is really great. Old tools like this with metal housings, they have a tendency to zap you, at least when they get older. <laughs> Brushes are right here, and I don't really see any sparking in there. So this should probably be a pretty good circular saw. Maybe open it up and do a little bit of maintenance, clean it up a little bit, and be really good. And actually, I'm very happy that it's actually not that loud. <laughs> My main issue with power tools is that they tend to be quite loud, especially circular saws. Circular saws are the ones that I, I'm always kind of afraid of. But honestly, it might just be that all the circular saws I have, or have had, are really weird and old and just really noisy. This one's actually pretty quiet, so that's pretty cool. Or you know, maybe it's quieter because of the smaller blade. There might actually be some truth to that, because then the entire thing could be a bit smaller. Or it could just be that the other circular saw I have is just too noisy. Because after all, the other circular saw I have was found in the garbage, and it's definitely not anywhere as near as nice as this. My great-grandfather definitely took some very good care of this. Then again, he took good care of most of his tools, so that's cool.
Looks like I could do with a new blade because this is kind of dull feeling. So I imagine this should be pretty kind of sharp, but it's it's obviously been used. I don't know if it's possible or really a good idea to sharpen these, but I might as well just get a new blade maybe. So this cable could use a bit of replacing later on, but I think for now it's actually okay. A little bit of cracking, but I mean, I use things with crack cables all the time. I don't really use this thing. I don't really have a constant use for a circular saw. So I think for now this is okay. All right, we can remove that and clean that. I keep dropping that thing. Okay, those are definitely doing pretty good. Happy with that. Nice and chunky brushes too. It's pretty nice. I'm going to try to make sure to remember to put it in the right way. brush says F38. A little bit of like roughness on that. But I think it's okay. By the way, I've gotten pretty good at flicking the focus, the focus ring enough to get it in focus. So it's kind of fun. One issue I have with this camera though is that the focus ring is digital, and so sometimes it doesn't really pick up correctly or picks up too much. But that's just a tangent for another day, for the day when I do a review of this camera. Okay, so we have this, which feels like a, well, it's, it's obviously a type of plastic, but it, I'm not really sure what type. We have this that could use a bit, bit of cleaning. Let's see if one of these knockoff magic eraser thingamabobs does much. I mean, sure it has some effect, but not too much. I wonder if I can just take this off. Oh, there we go. It's not too bad. Chances are I won't use this too much because I, I just don't really cut wood all that much, or at least not enough to require a circular saw. Mostly a hand saw will do what I need. So there's no reason that this can't be nice and shiny. Actually, that's working out pretty well. There's not too much corrosion on the actual metal itself. It's just a bunch of like little bits of gunk that have built up over time. And I guess this stuff actually is kind of abrasive, so it still does help a little bit, but it's, I don't think it's needed too much. Damn, this thing is so nice. It's a real shame that we've moved away from all of the shiny aluminium and whatnot. And especially the the name plates for some reason how they're riveted on there just it looks really nice and rugged and durable i mean maybe, maybe not rugged rugged is kind of stupid overused word but whatever you know what i mean it's really cool i'm kind of tempted to get some polishing compound and clean up the aluminium more but honestly it's so nice like it is just cleaning up all the old gunk that might be on it and old oil and whatnot I think that's probably good enough. Let me look at this. Actually, that's not too bad either. So actually, this does work pretty well. Basically, how these things work is they're a bit of foam that is also a bit abrasive. And so it actually, the foam itself uh, kind of brushes away. That's why it also deteriorates pretty, pretty fast. And 
it basically acts as I don't know, just like something that is very abrasive. Abrasive agent, perhaps, I suppose it's called. Look at that. Do you guys have any idea what kind of plastics were most likely in use back then? Because I imagine ABS probably came around a lot later. This would probably be more like similar to a Bakelite type thing. Although it doesn't exactly feel like a Bakelite. Let's let that dry and see how that goes. It's dry now, and I consider that a pretty good job. That cleaned up really well. I guess that was maybe like a fungus or something like that that was eating out the plastic. I'm not really sure. Well, plastic tends to do that. You know, I don't think I want to take this thing apart because it's just, it's so nice. And there really isn't much for me to do in it because it seems like it's lubricated well and whatnot. So, yeah, maybe let's just let it be how it is. Oh, right, I should probably clean the cable because that would probably benefit the most, actually. Blech! Yuck! I can't put my cleaned up circular saw in the same old dirty case. Gotta clean that up too. Comes with a wrench and a piece for the actual circular saw. So the current blade on the circular saw is from Ace Hardware. Looks like that's the label to it. 489. Yeah. A lot of dirt. I might clean that up with the wire wheel and repaint that some other time. But either way, this is really nice. I'm really happy with this. This is the first circular saw that I actually like. It has this little lip right here. And unfortunately that puts it like right there, so... Hmm. Oh well, it seems to be okay. Actually, that does work. Oh, yeah, because because this comes down more at an angle like that, not so much straight down. It's kind of comes from the front. So yeah, even though that's kind of right in the line, it's still okay. I'm just really happy about this. So I think this is pretty cool, and it's in amazingly good condition because pretty much everything I've ever found with a full metal frame it's always either a kind of white with oxidation or whatever but this mostly like, most likely because of the case is in just such nice condition i really i don't have to do much to it i'll just buy a new blade and that'll help out a lot well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching see ya